Common Lisp is a dialect of the Lisp programming language, published in ANSI standard document ANSI INCITS 2261994. From the ANSI Common Lisp standard the Common Lisp hyperspec, a hyperlinked HTML version, has been derived. The Common Lisp language was developed as a standardized and improved successor of MCLISP. By the early 1980s several groups were already at work on diverse successors to MCLISP, LISP Machine LISP, Spice LISP, NIL and S1 LISP. Common LISP sought to unify, standardize, and extend the features of these MCLISP dialects. Common LISP is not an implementation, but rather a language specification. Several implementations of the Common Lisp standard are available, including free and open source software and proprietary products. Common Lisp is a general purpose, multi paradigm programming language. It supports a combination of procedural, functional, and object oriented programming paradigms. As a dynamic programming language, it facilitates evolutionary and incremental software development with iterative compilation into efficient runtime programs. This incremental development is often done interactively without interrupting the running application. It also supports optional type annotation and casting, which can be added as necessary at the later profiling and optimization stages. To permit the compiler to generate more efficient code, for instance, FixNum can hold an unboxed integer in a range supported by the hardware and implementation, permitting more efficient arithmetic than on big integers or arbitrary precision types. Similarly, the compiler can be told on a per module or per function basis which type safety level is wanted using optimized declarations. Common Lisp includes CLO, an object system that supports multi-methods and method combinations. It is often implemented with a meta-object protocol. Common Lisp is extensible through standard features such as Lisp macros and reader macros. Common Lisp provides some backwards compatibility to MacLisp and to John McCarthy's original Lisp. This allows older Lisp software to be ported to Common Lisp. History Work on Common Lisp started in 1981 after an initiative by upper manager Bob Engelmore to develop a single community standard Lisp dialect. Much of the initial language design was done via electronic mail. Guy Lewis Steele, Jr., gave at the 1982 ACM Symposium on Lisp and Functional Programming the first overview of Common Lisp. The first language documentation was published 1984 as Common Lisp a Language, first edition. A second edition, published in 1990, incorporated many changes to the language made during the ANSI Common Lisp standardization process. The final ANSI Common Lisp standard then was published in 1994. Since then no update to the standard has been published. Various extensions and improvements to Common Lisp have been provided by implementations. Syntax Common Lisp is a dialect of Lisp. It uses S expressions to denote both code and data structure. Function calls, macro forms and special forms are written as lists, with the name of the function first, as in these examples. Add 2 and 2, yielding 4. The function's name is plus. Lisp has no operators as such, and shows that a variable x exists, without giving it a value. The asterisks are part of the name, by convention denoting a special variable. The symbol x is also hereby endowed with the property that, subsequent bindings of it are dynamic, rather than lexical, sets the variable x to the floating point value 42.1, define a function that squares a number, execute the function, returns 9, the, let, construct creates a scope for local variables. Here, the variable a is bound to 6 and the variable b is bound to 4. Inside the let is a body where the last computed value is returned. Here the result of adding a and b is returned from the let expression. The variables a and b have lexical scope unless the symbols have been marked as special variables. Returns 10 data types. Common Lisp has many data types. 
Scalar types number types include integers, ratios, floating point numbers, and complex numbers. Common Lisp uses bignims to represent numerical values of arbitrary size and precision. The ratio type represents fractions exactly, a facility not available in many languages. Common Lisp automatically coerces numeric values among these types as appropriate. The Common Lisp character type is not limited to ASCII characters. Most modern implementations allow Unicode characters. The symbol type is common to Lisp languages, but largely unknown outside them. A symbol is a unique named data object with several parts, name, value, function, property list and package. If these, value cell and function cell are the most important, symbols in Lisp are often used similarly to identifiers in other languages. To hold the value of a variable, however there are many other uses. Normally, when a symbol is evaluated, its value is returned. Some symbols evaluate to themselves, for example all symbols in the keyword package are self-evaluating. Boolean values in common Lisp are represented by the self-evaluating symbols T and NIL. Common Lisp has namespaces for symbols, called packages. A number of functions are available for rounding scalar numeric values in various ways. The function round rounds the argument to the nearest integer, with halfway cases rounded to the even integer. The functions truncate, floor, and ceiling round towards zero, down, or up respectively. All these functions return the discarded fractional part as a secondary value. For example, yields minus 3, 0 0.5, yields minus 2, minus 0 0.5, yields 2, 0 0.5, and yields 4, minus 0 0.5. Data structures sequence types in common Lisp include lists, vectors, bit vectors, and strings. There are many operations which can work on any sequence type. As in almost all other Lisp dialects, lists in common Lisp are composed of conses, sometimes called cons cells or pairs. A cons is a data structure with two slots, called its GAR and CDR. A list is a linked chain of conses or the empty list. Each conses car refers to a member of the list. Each cons' CDR refers to the next cons, except for the last cons in a list, whose CDR refers to the nil value. Conses can also easily be used to implement trees and other complex data structures, though it is usually advised to use structure or class instances. Instead, it is also possible to create circular data structures with conses. Common Lisp supports multidimensional arrays, and can dynamically resize adjustable arrays if required. Multidimensional arrays can be used for matrix mathematics. A vector is a one-dimensional array. Arrays can carry any type as members or can be specialized to contain a specific type of members, as in a vector of bits. Usually only a few types are supported. Many implementations can optimize array functions when the array used is type-specialized. Two type-specialized array types are standard. A string is a vector of characters, while a bit vector is a vector of bits. Hash tables store associations between data objects. Any object may be used as key or value. Hash tables are automatically resized as needed. Packages are collections of symbols, used chiefly to separate the parts of a program into namespaces. A package may export some symbols, marking them as part of a public interface. Packages can use other packages. Structures, similar in use to C structs and Pascal records, represent arbitrary complex data structures with any number and type of fields. Structures allow single inheritance. Classes are similar to structures, but offer more dynamic features and multiple inheritance. Classes have been added late to common Lisp and there is some conceptual overlap with structures. Objects created of classes are called instances. A special case are generic functions. Generic functions are both functions and instances. Functions common Lisp supports first-class functions. 
For instance, it is possible to write functions that take other functions as arguments or return functions as well. This makes it possible to describe very general operations. The common Lisp library relies heavily on such higher-order functions. For example, the sort function takes a relational operator as an argument and key function as an optional keyword argument. This can be used not only to sort any type of data, but also to sort data structures according to a key. Sorts the list using the greater than and less than function as the relational operator. Hash greater than returns hash less than returns sorts the list according to the first element of each sublist. Hash less than key hash first returns the evaluation model for functions is very simple. When the evaluator encounters a form then it presumes that the symbol named f is one of the following. A special operator, a macro operator, the name of a function, which may either be a symbol or a subform beginning with the symbol lambda. If f is the name of a function, then the arguments a1, a2, and are evaluated in left to right order, and the function is found and invoked with those values supplied as parameters. Defining functions The macro defunct defines functions where a function definition gives the name of the function, the names of any arguments, and a function body. Function definitions may include compiler directives, known as declarations, which provide hints to the compiler about optimization settings or the data types of arguments. They may also include documentation strings, which the Lisp system may use to provide interactive documentation. Calculates the square of the single float x. Anonymous functions are defined using lambda expressions, e.g., for a function that squares its argument. Lisp programming style frequently uses higher order functions for which it is useful to provide anonymous functions as arguments. Local functions can be defined with flat and labels. There are a number of other operators related to the definition and manipulation of functions. For instance, a function may be compiled with the compile operator. Defining generic functions and methods The macro def generic defines generic functions. The macro def method defines methods. Generic functions are a collection of methods. Methods can specialize their parameters over closed standard classes, system classes, structure classes or objects. For many types there are corresponding system classes. When a generic function is called, multiple dispatch will determine the effective method to use. Returns 5 7 Returns hash hash Returns hash Returns Common Lisp Generic functions are also a first class data type. There are many more features to generic functions and methods than described above. The function namespace The namespace for function names is separate from the namespace for data variables. This is a key difference between common Lisp and scheme. For common Lisp, operators that define names in the function namespace include defung, flat, labels, def method and def generic. To pass a function by name as an argument to another function, one must use the function special operator, commonly abbreviated as hash. The first sort example above refers to the function named by the symbol greater than in the function namespace, with the code hash greater than. Conversely, to call a function passed in such a way, one would use the func call operator on the argument. Scheme's evaluation model is simpler. There is only one namespace, and all positions in the form are evaluated, not just the arguments. Code written in one dialect is therefore sometimes confusing to programmers more experienced in the other. For instance, many common Lisp programmers like to use descriptive variable names such as list or string which could cause problems in scheme, as they would locally shadow function names. Whether a separate namespace for functions is an advantage is a source of contention in the Lisp community. It is usually referred to as the Lisp 1 versus Lisp 2 debate. Lisp 1 refers to Scheme's model and Lisp 2 refers to Common Lisp's model. These names were coined in a 1988 paper by Richard P. Gabriel and Kent Pittman, which extensively compares the two approaches.
Multiple return values Common Lisp supports the concept of multiple values, where any expression always has a single primary value, but it might also have any number of secondary values which might be received and inspected by interested callers. This concept is distinct from returning a list value, as the secondary values are fully optional and passed via a dedicated side channel. This means that callers may remain entirely unaware of the secondary values being there if they have no need for them, and it makes it convenient to use the mechanism for communicating information that is sometimes useful, but not always necessary. For example, the truncate function rounds the given number to an integer towards zero. However, it also returns a remainder as a secondary value, making it very easy to determine what value was truncated. It also supports an optional divisor parameter, which can be used to perform Euclidean division trivially equals greater than 1,266,778 divided by 458 is 2,765 remains a 408. GETHASH returns the value of a key in an associative map, or the default value otherwise, and a secondary boolean indicating whether the value was found. Thus code which does not care about whether the value was found or provided as the default can simply use it as is. But when such distinction is important, it might inspect the secondary boolean and react appropriately. Both use cases are supported by the same call and neither is unnecessarily burdened or constrained by the other. Returns, the answer is 42, if answer not present in library, I don't know, returns, I don't know, if answer not present in library multiple values are supported by a handful of standard forms most common of which are the multiple value bind special form for accessing secondary values and values for returning multiple values. Return on outlook prediction, with the probability as a secondary value, equals greater than, outlook good, equals greater than 0.3187 other types other data types in common lisp include. Path names represent files and directories in the file system. The common list path name facility is more general than most operating systems file naming conventions, making list programs access to files broadly portable across diverse systems. Input and output streams represent sources and syncs for binary or textual data, such as the terminal or open files. Common Lisp has a built-in pseudo-random number generator. Random state objects represent reusable sources of pseudo-random numbers, allowing the user to seed the PRNG or cause it to replay a sequence. Conditions are a type used to represent errors, exceptions, and other interesting events to which a program may respond. Classes are first-class objects, and are themselves instances of classes called meta-object classes. Read tables are a type of object which control how common lisps read a parse as the text of source code. By controlling which read table is in use when code is read in, the programmer can change or extend the language's syntax.